Hello guys and girls, it's Hellsting here. Today I'm going to be unboxing the Ifrit Custom. Uh, I was going to do this in one video, but I'm going to have to, I'm going to, have to cut it up because when I uh, did it on my phone, in my first time doing this uh, unboxing, it ran about 45 minutes. And it's pretty long for an unboxing, so I'm going to do them separate. Um, one's going to go on first, and then the next day the next one will go up. And then, um, I might give you a, pretty much a, what I'm going to be doing with it. But pretty much what I'm going to do is put two kits together as one kit. Uh, so one's going to be an extra kit, but I'm still going to have it put together. Even though it's not going to, I might not even paint it, I might just put it together and leave it alone. Um, but I'm going to plan on doing my own custom paint job and things like that. So I got this one and I got the snide. I like parts on the snide, but there's also parts on the snide I don't like. Um, I also bought a um, an aftermarket ki uh, weapon for it. I forgot what they call it, what the name of the uh, company that makes it. And pretty much it's going to be a sniper type. Um, on mine, it's going to have the swords, and it's going to have the uh, snides. Uh, pretty much the rest of it's going to be the snide. Um, Pretty much the only reason I bought this kit was for the swords to have them on the kit. I'm going to do my custom, my custom uh, version of this mobile suit. So from this hand, pretty much all I want to use is the sword and the backpack to where the sword can go with it, and maybe a few other things. Um, it's just me personally, the snide's probably the better one to get. I mean, they're about the same really. We well, let's go ahead and get into this unboxing. Now, when it comes to this video, um. Like I've already done it before, so they're already out of the bags. Like I was doing it on my phone, and on my phone I wasn't trying to do a bunch of takes because I couldn't. I mean, you got you could get edit software on your phone, not edit software, but like an app for editing, and it didn't look it was all that good. So I'm doing this on a camera now, and then when I get done with this camera, I'm gonna put it on my uh, laptop, and then I'm gonna edit it all together, which is unneeded information. But man, I'll tell y'all anyway. Anyway, this is the front of the manual. You got the box art, and then you get, you know, the front and the back. We go to the back, you get some of the action poses. Pretty, pretty cool. That's the only thing I don't like about this, the major thing I don't like about this kit is these. It, to me, it just, I, don't, I don't know why, I just don't like it. Just, um, now, it would be cool if I could leave these leg parts on them, and I, my cousin would have that on there. But, you don't have the... Um, Pretty much, if you don't put these on there, you're gonna have a big old hole. And I'm not trying to do a bunch of like plow plate or whatever. I'm not that, you know, skilled at this. But anyway, go ahead and open up to the first page. You get your runners. The first page and the second page. We're starting with the show you the head I and mean, the, the body, then the head, then the legs, and then more. You know, it being put together. And then you see the swords and the mobile suit completely put together. Um, yeah, uh, the hands aren't not that great. I mean, if you watched any of one else's reviews, this is pretty much how I got to do my videos. So you, bits and pieces of the pages. Because I don't have, um, on a wide view. Uh, I don't have one of those high-end cameras. This is a great little camera. I mean, that's the bottom of the page, and this is the top. Start with the legs. And this is the next part of the page. I get on to page eight. Show you more of the legs. Now I like now this kit was probably one of the easiest kits you'll be able to custom uh custom paint because you won't have to do no um masking or anything like that. You just paint that one, then paint that one, then stick them together, and then you know. Uh, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do it like most other people do. I'm gonna try to get rid of the seam lines. Like the seam lines will be on the side of the leg. Um and I agree with some people what they should do, or some um, people's opinion, is if they're going to, uh, you know, put these legs where they have a seam line, at least make it look like, you know, it's a part of, you know, the legs to be put together. You know, instead of having the pieces straight like that, have it like that right there, to where it looks like, I mean, it's not going to move or anything like that when you, you know, move the leg, but, you know, it looks like one of those parts that it would move if, you know, the leg moved without actually moving it. This is the... Like I said, the legs and stuff like that. 
Then you get the waist. Legs. Um, so then you get the body. And then I was going to do this like as a, as a, um, a haul type video, but uh, I'm not going to do that. I tried that and then it kind of looked kind of hokey to me when I'm, I'm doing that. When other people do it, other people do it, probably, you know, it's probably fine and great and dandy. But me, though, I didn't think it was, you know, one of those, not me, basically. And then you get all that stuff in Japanese, which I don't read. And then you get pretty much a ski max. The front, the back, the top, the arms, the side. I like it when they do this. It's pretty cool. Alright, now we get into runner A. Oh, you get this pink part. I guess that's for the mono eye, I think. Or it might be just a, you know, a weapon part. You get the clear for the swords. Uh, I kind of wish they would. It would have been nice if they had one like with a, like a, like a silver type color you know to wear when they're on the mobile suit you know it's one color but when they're using the mobile suit it would be you know these you know basically inactive and then active version but for me I probably won't even have these if it's only in the back I'm not gonna have these attached um, to the sword the sword is gonna be on the back be like a beam weapon for mine for me and you get these in a the black uh, color and then you get the little back leg pods and stuff like that we are now we got runner C. You see the back part of the pods. You see the legs. It's a nice, nice shade of blue. I like that blue. Um, like I said, I plan on getting real seam lines. Um, as many as I can. I don't think that's will probably be a seam line like that right there. Probably something you won't be able to get rid of. That seam line is gonna be right there in the middle of that. When I mean, you could, but then you probably won't be able to get to it. And you know, well maybe I can actually. I'll have to try that. I'm not really going too much in this one. This is the next part. It's part C. It's the same part. You get two of them. Um, now in this box, when you get them, you have this, then another part, then another part, and then another bag will have the other one of this, and another part, another part, and they're all the same. They could just put the same ones in the same bag, but they didn't do that. They did separately. So that's just, you know, a little thing for you to know when you uh, get the kit. All right, now we have runner E. I like when they individually colored the... Um, the pieces. I mean, it, you know, if you don't like painting, it saves you from doing have to do some painting. This is a nice dark gray, and you get two of this runner. Like I said, there's just two. They're exactly the same. Then it's different. Then you get runner B. You get the sides of the leg, the extra part that click uh, clicks on them. If you don't want these on, you got like a little extra piece to where it kind of. Plugs into the leg, and you get the back skirt, the front skirt. I like it now. I like it when they do this, the way they put the little peg, the way you can cut that, and then do a little bit of trimming to where they're not hitting each other. If they hit each other, then you know it kind of kind of would push it sideways a little bit. Get the back of the the backpack, then you get this the waist side. You get runner D two, which is a, a gray color the top of the foot um, there may have been actually two there may be two um, of the same this there may be two of this from D2 and then D1 I don't see it right now but I'm pretty sure you have two of them hit runner F that's a orange color now this part here is to the top part of the body where the neck goes and everything then you get these um, I don't know why, I just don't like the way these spikes look. They look weird on this, the arm. So that's why this will not be used in my custom. And plus, anyway, I want the little sardigans or whatever they call them. The little heat knives that come with the um, snide on my kit. So that's one reason why I got snide. And you get two of that one. And then when it comes to D2, here's the other part to it. This is D1. Like this, more parts than D2. You get the top of the leg, foot, I mean... And you get the little inside of the waist and things like that. And the sword. G2, which is the yellow of the thrust, uh, the thrusters of the extra leg part with the missiles on it. Comes in a nice yellow. Uh, I have my color ideas written down. I don't have them with me right now. So uh, when I come to the night, I'll let y'all know what my color ideas are. Then we come into... 
poly cap, 210. And it's just a regular old poly cap, nothing special about it. Runner G1, which are the cables that go to the kit. You get the face and then the body. Um, kind of hinders the articulation of the body. Then you get some colored stickers. I wish they had the kernel, but it looked like they have these two right here to where you can make the kernel ranking if you wanted to. Just have to, you know, put them together. Which I probably won't do that because it kind of would mess up the kit and, you know, two stickers on top of each other would look pretty bad. Last but not least, the other stickers, your spoil stickers. The eye and some other ones for other parts that I don't remember. Alrighty, now that would be the unboxing of the e Freak Custom. Um, I'm not really going to be one of those, I'm not really one of those people who are going to be uh, reviewing it. I mean, I'll probably do a review of it anyway. Um, and I'm not going to be like most people who like to do a bunch of different poses. Mine is going to be in a pose and it's pretty much going to stay in that pose. I'm not going to switch my pose up or anything like that. Uh, first things first for my channel, the way I'm going to be uh, doing these unboxings. The kits I get are going to be the kits that I want. I'm not going to get brand new kits just because it's a brand new kit. You know, I'm going to get the ones I want. And then when it, you know, people like this, uh, you know, just me doing unboxing, then eventually I will come to the point where I will actually um, buy ones I don't like. So, right now, at my point now is why I buy a bunch of kits you're not going to want. If you're just going to do a review of them, I buy the ones I want first, and then the ones I don't really care for, I do review. I would do reviews on, and what I'll deal with them, I don't know. I really won't, don't, wouldn't really want to keep them because I don't like it. I really don't want it, so I'd probably give it to my nephew because he sees them and he thinks they're cool. So I might give him the ones I don't like. Uh, of course, it'd be between him and his brother. But anyway, that is it for unboxing of the E Freet Custom. Uh, next up will be the E Freet Snide. Alrighty, I'll catch y'all later.